Hey guys, welcome back to the Oilers Fanatic and another edition of the Fanatic Rundown. It wasn't pretty, it wasn't how anyone drew it up, but the Oilers come from behind and defeat the Anaheim Ducks 6-5 to improve to 3-0 on the season. In past seasons, I think this would be a game that the Oilers would lose, but with the talent and depth that this team now possesses, they were able to find a way. Give the Ducks a ton of credit, they are a young group and everyone has low expectations for them, but they gave the Oilers all they could handle tonight. Even when the Oilers put in the empty net goal and went up 6-4, to four, the Ducks kept coming and cut it to 6-5, to five, making the empty net goal the winning goal. Leon, who scored the empty net goal, hit the 200 career goal milestone tonight, so a special congratulations to him. It wasn't all a night of celebrations, though. Mike Smith had to leave the game with a lower body injury after it looked like Devin Shore fell on his leg after making a save. Dave Tippett said after the game, Smith is only day-to-day, so a big relief. There is a chance we see him as the backup on Thursday against Arizona, but if he's not ready to go, I imagine Stuart Skinner will be recalled to back up Koskinen. If Smith is out longer than expected, and Skinner is called up, maybe we'll see Skinner face Arizona on Thursday, and then Koskinen will get Vegas on Friday, as it's a back-to-back situation. Have to wait and see. As I said at the start of this video, this wasn't a pretty win for the Oilers, but they found a way to get it done. The Ducks were all over them at certain points, and used their speed to create chances. I felt Tyson Berry really struggled tonight. Sam Steele of the Ducks was able to outwork him on one of the goals, skating right past him. It's an unacceptable play to give up on his part. As a result, we saw Bouchard and Nurse paired together to close out the game, and they looked pretty good. I think Nurse and Bouchard are the Oilers' future top pairing. Bouchard's hard work and no-quit approach resulted in the fluky goal that gave the Oilers the 5-4 lead. I don't want to harp on the Oilers too much. It wasn't their best game, but a lot of credit has to go to the Ducks for their effort as well. Well, I think I'll wrap it up there, guys. But let me know your thoughts on the game in the comment section below. You've been watching the Oilers Fanatic? Thanks for being a fan. Take care, guys.